A lot of times we can all feel a truth, but the words to describe it seem to be missing. It's like we know it, but we can't really put our finger on it. Many people are currently feeling both truth and deception at the same time. It's no accident we feel that way. It's part of the imitation game. But let me start at the beginning. You've probably heard before that there is an information field that connects everything. Some people call it the ether, others the morphogenetic or quantum field. Since time immemorial, this field has been described, studied, used, forgotten, and rediscovered. Part of this field is a library, which can be called God's Library, Book of Life, or the Akashic Records, derived from the Sanskrit word Akasha, which means primary substance, or ethereal fluid, or sky, or atmosphere. You can think of it as a place where everything is recorded. Every thought, every feeling, every action, past, present, and future. Every being's journey that has ever lived is stored there in all of its details. Virtually every culture or religion knows of such a field, or at least describes something similar of that nature. It is one of the great mystical subjects that fascinates people of all walks of life. And like with everything else that exists in a natural realm and in the creator sphere, the Akashic Records are part of the imitation game. The imitation game is what this current technological age is really about. There have been many technological ages before and so far, they all produced the exact same outcome. In the technological age, mankind is led astray from inner knowledge and wisdom, from self-exploration, contemplation, meditation, and true inner development. All solutions are to be found outside of oneself, even the spiritual ones. If you look at all the technological inventions, they all share one common truth. They are all seeking to imitate abilities, talents, skills, and possibilities we hold inside of us, but are currently unable to access. Every phone, TV, computer, plane, and all the other things we produce is part of the imitation game. Man could never invent anything that isn't already naturally inside of us. The imitation game, however, demands that we believe to be incomplete, imperfect, and faulty, and technology will bridge that gap for us. Ironically, all the information that allows us to develop and improve that technology is stored within our DNA. We're simply misinterpreting it and seeking to outpicture it technologically. The more we do it, the more our innate abilities suffer because anything that is not used begins to succumb. Our mightiest technological co-creation to date is what we're doing right now, unbeknownst to most of the co-creators, by the way. It's like a giant computer game, and while most are playing it, they're unaware that they're playing it. We are, as we speak, as I am speaking, co-creating a monster so vast in its proportions, it is hard to imagine. During this stage of the imitation game, we're creating the Akashic Records in the digital realm. Like all other technological creations, it will never even begin to come close to the real thing. It will be but a very, very primitive construction compared to what exists in real reality, but it can cause suffering and destruction on a monumental scale. In the age of full digitization, every thought, every movement, every keystroke, every swipe, every photo and video, Every possible metric is being recorded, analyzed, cross-referenced, and ultimately saved to a collective artificial hive mind, an entity that possesses all available digital data on the internet today and is made up of all our individual online activities in their entirety. Imagine a place in cyberspace where everything is recorded and dissected, categorized, labeled, and used to predict, steer, and ultimately end all human behavior. Such a hive mind would be the ruler of all rulers, and it is quite literally what its creators have in mind. It represents the full inversion of natural creation and the creator's vision for mankind. Those who have come to realize the full extent of what I'm speaking about 
have all come to the same conclusion. But they all arrived at that place because of deep contemplation and true inner standing of the monumental fork in a road we're facing, not because of someone else presenting the answers. It is only frightening if there is no clarity, and clarity can't come from outside of oneself. There are decisions to be made, life-altering decisions that will change your course and maybe the course of mankind forever. No one can make those decisions for you. The imitation game always comes to an end. It must. For some reason, those who are writing the game can't seem to grasp that. They have become an intrinsic part of the program they themselves created. What lies beyond the imitation game is likewise very, very challenging to put in words. And thankfully, it does not need to be put in words. The memory of it is stored inside of you. It's waiting for you to rediscover it. And with every piece of knowledge and wisdom that reawakens within you, the picture will become clearer and clearer if you allow it. This is precisely what this time in our shared story is about. That's when life really begins and the game ends. That's when you realize the best is yet to come. Dr. Zelenko became a household name when he developed his world-famous Zelenko protocol. To make sure that everybody had access to his immune-boosting formula, he created Z-Stack, my family's immune-boosting supplement of choice. Along with Z-Detox, Z-Flu, and Z-Shield, Z-Stack has helped countless families stay healthy and protected. With every purchase of Dr. Zelenko's products, you also support the Zelenko Freedom Foundation in their tireless work to promote and reinstate medical freedom for all. Click the link down below, use coupon code INSPIRE to save and protect your family today.